Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, a video about Lego Set 369, Coast Guard Station from 1976. The set consists of 275 parts and 5 minifigures. I have the set complete with all the parts, the box and the manual. The box is quite large and I am pleasantly surprised by the many parts. I mainly see a lot of color and many bricks in different sizes, which I think is positive. For me as an adult, it is fun if the building experience is a bit challenging and I have the impression that with this set, it will be a fun afternoon. Considering the age of almost 50 years, the inner and outer box are still in a nice condition. And the manual also still looks very good. The size is a bit awkward when you unfold it, but that's the way it was at that time. I wanted this set in my collection because the theme really appeals to me. It's a combination of water and land, and that is quite unique, especially in the 70s. During my research, I found only two other sets in that period that combine water and land. In 1977, there was set 373, offshore rig with fuel tanker. And set 364, Harbor from 1975. And that is a set that I also have in my collection and will make a review about soon. One of the cool features in this set is that the base is not a plastic plate, but a cardboard. But more about this later in another video. So today, this one, 369 Coast Guard Station from 1976. Considering the theme, the base plate is of course blue. Complete blue base plates are not very common in sets, and this one also has white dots on the plate. This way you can see where to start building. These dots have been applied specifically for this set, which makes the base plate unique and is therefore only found in this set. And the size is not very common either. Most base plates in my collection are 16 by 32 or 32 by 32. This base plate is 24 by 40. The manual clearly shows what you have to build. There are actually four parts. The vehicles, mainly with yellow and gray bricks. The helipad and pontoon in black bricks, finished with white fences. The tower with mainly red bricks and finished with some nice details and the minifigs. I personally prefer to start with the helipad and pontoon first and leave the vehicles and minifigs until last. All the black parts are already sorted here, so I can start building. I'm building a set from 1976, so the bricks are still very basic. And I don't mind that at all. The pontoon and helipad consist of more than 80 black bricks in different sizes and shapes. If these were all ready-made pieces, as you know them from the more recent sets, there would be little fun in building the set. Because these are all separate bricks, it also provides many opportunities to let your imagination run wild and create your own designs. You will find some nice inspiration on the back of the box. There are many nice suggestions shown. In the meantime, I have finished building step one. On to step two, the tower. It mainly consists of red bricks. Here too, the variation of the bricks is good. I even see some curved bricks. In earlier sets, you could sometimes build towers that were completely closed, which were nice as a display piece, but not really to play with. This is not the case here. At the bottom, there is a door, and on the first floor, there is an opening with a balcony, and one where you can place a ladder. And of course, you can put also minifigs in it, and that improves the playability a lot.
The ladder is a cool feature, but it's a pity that it's only a half one. You can also find such a ladder in Fire Station set 374. It's the same ladder, but in two pieces. And finally, the roof. You have to put quite a lot of parts on it. First, four round bricks one by one with closed stud, and then a milky white antenna. Then also a lighthouse, and these two parts should represent some kind of navigation tool that can rotate. The part all the way up here is a bit strange. I suspect this part is included, because you can click these two parts together and use them to make an alternative construction. I personally wouldn't put this part on the top of the tower, but that's of course a matter of personal taste. Despite that one part, I think it is a successful design and the stickers provide a nice extra. And then of course the vehicles and the minifigs. Unfortunately, this set dates from the period when minifigs with limbs and facial expression were not yet produced. But these minifigs also have their charm, and I have learned to appreciate them. I have already many such old sets with these minifigs in my collection. It's very positive that there are no fewer than five minifigs in this set, with a nice sticker on the torso. But it's a pity that all five are identical. A little variation in color for the cap or the pants might have been nice. The helicopter is a classic design from that period. It's nice that these are yellow bricks for the vehicles, I built similar models in the past, but it was always in black, grey or blue. In addition to the helicopter, there are also two hovercraft vehicles in the set. It is positive that there are three vehicles in total, but it's a pity that these two are almost identical vehicles. Only the size is different. I would have liked it if there was one hovercraft and some kind of little lifeboat as shown here with the alternative constructions. A fun theme that appeals to the imagination, five minifigures, and a unique base plate. It's a cool set, and it certainly deserves a nice place in my collection. I think it's admirable that the designers from that period still managed to create beautiful designs with basic bricks. Feel free to comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.